Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back here, and today we are gonna be playing some Reno Warrior. Um Yeah, I don't have a real reason as to why I picked Reno Warrior. Uh I just like playing the deck. I hopefully get some people some brand and some boom boss. The deck that could be fun. Um Yeah. Anyways, uh again, I'll keep this nice, short, and sweet, so I'm gonna just kill the first one and let's see how this all goes. Right, cause yeah, I'll see y'all in the first game. Alright. Uh first game. Rogue. I I wouldn't mind extra sanitize and some other things. Uh, I'll just small the bunker here, I guess. Yeah. I mean, extra sanitize, potential extra, um, destroy all big creatures or whatnot. Could be, could be pretty solid. Uh, I won't lie. All right. Oh, uh, is this? Oh, he got a coin, which means it's pirate. Or at least he's playing some amount of pirates. Alright. Sanitize is active. Coin hammer here, most likely. Gonna drop patches. No Want to save the coin now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, ten, eleven. Down to thirty. Do this here. Is this bad? Or how bad is this? I guess it's a more operative term. This really limits what he can do. Yeah, let's do this. It limits what he can do. I guess if he does have, like, Zilliax, it's, like, bad. But to be fair, I wasn't beating Zilliax anyways. Um... Yeah, right, that's beautiful. Now I have Lightning Storm. It might be Garot, which would suck, because he's drawing a lot of cards. Um, yeah, if it's Garot, it's sort of not great position. What can we do? Garot just does so much damage that it's very hard for us to beat it. Right, it's like... Four times a million. Uh. Lightning Storm. Next time I can play Hammer to activate this. The turn after. He has a lot of cards in hand, which still means I do need to figure out a way to kill him. Um, this should be one spell away. Yeah. And yeah, this is one of the scenarios where I actually would like to get the frozen bunker. But then I would also have active shield shatter. Well, to me that he didn't play anything from his hand. That's Zilliax or another ship's cannon of some sort. Yeah, I have a feeling it's Garot. Do this poke there. It's probably Garot. There's. I have no idea. I actually think I do this here. Try to gain as much life as humanly possible against the Garot. That's actually a pretty solid burn. 
It's not as good a seeing as a Garot burn, but eh. it is what it is. I'm gonna go sanitize here. We're at was at 38 health. Oh, he does damage to to me this turn, but no, it looks like he's playing for Garot. Which I mean, double play is four damage after the spell damage. And then four times that's eight. Oh, what is what is the math? Hold up, it's four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So it's thirty-two total. All right, so I'm actually above. He needs to have two of those. That it's a double garrot. Right, it's 16 each, and then it's 32 as a 38, which means I survive, which means I top deck Reno and I win the game. Oh, he has better than ice. Never mind. I'm gonna be at 46. Oh well. Uh, he had a really, really good draw, and my draw was a little slow, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's just queue up the next one. Alright. So... Well, Warlocks. Warlock is another matchup where it's just like impossible to actually fucking win. It's so frustrating. Yeah, there's. It's just to be Quest Warlock and I won't be able to win the game. Our deck is super slow and there's nothing we can do to make it faster. Oh, that sucked. I love losing games that just because I hit tier 1 decks and I'm not playing a tier 1 deck. I have no real way either to slow them down. They also basically deal infinite damage, which really sucks. Let me guess, he has the one mana deal four damage spell. The deck plays one of them. They always have it on two or three. A little agony goes a long way. Well, I don't actually have a way to kill that now, so I instantly lose the game. This was really good. It was pretty solid. Alright. So next turn, if he does kill this, I can kill that and put everything back up higher. The only issue now is if he goes second Dark Lair. I guess that's a pretty darn big issue. I also just say I hope he just doesn't draw his life gain spells. That is another way I can actually win the game. By the way, I don't think I told everyone yet, but... I hope everybody has a beverage. I'm currently drinking me a cold brewski. Oh, he actually did have it. He did not commit it. Wild. Wild, wild, wild. Uh. When are they going to nerf this deck? Come on, be like double Molten Giant and the Eat a Creature spell. No, you hit the single best creature in your fucking deck. Should have saw that coming. Oh, you just have both of them. Oh, let me guess, you complete quest this turn? Because that seems to be my RNG recently against quest warlocks where they're just complete quest on four.
I mean, yeah, nothing I could have done about that. I wish it didn't go in that order. But, hey, it is what it is. I mean, it doesn't matter. He took 10 damage by taking 0 health worth of damage. Man, I really wish they changed it so health and armor are not considered the same thing. That would be phenomenal and make this matchup feel so less oppressive. He just goes raise dead next turn. He hits the giant because they hit it every single time and then we're dead, right? Yeah. Play some more spells that deal you damage. Nope, he just also has the perfect chance. I don't have rat in my deck, do I? Dirty rat off the top. That's not. That is the worst card I could have drawn. These are all awful. These cards do fucking nothing. Guard does nothing. Guards also do nothing. Yeah, I'm just dead. I am just dead. <sighs> what the fuck do I... So that's a fact I genuinely feel like I can never win these games. How the fuck am I supposed to win? Um... Hmm... Their top minion does fuck all. There's no card here that it's lethal that it can give me. Hmm. Is there no spell in my deck either that can get me there? I should have probably done this last turn if I'm being honest and tried to get Rat to pull, but... Yeah, there's nothing here I could realistically do. See what this says is the best option. This is fun. You know, I need to keep Reno. I need to keep Reno to heal here, I think. Yeah. It makes me angry the fact that Trial of Fi Trial by Fire has been nerfed, but the cards in this deck are still the same. What was the last wild? What was the last time a card in Wild got nerfed? It wasn't that long ago, right? There was. Oh, it was Hydration Station, I guess, which was more of a standard card, anyways. Hydration station got nerfed. Just put in play this game. Again, Quest Warlock is unbeatable unless you have like a god draw and their draw is like turn seven complete quest. 
if not, you never beat that deck, or uh, I mean, unless you cast a million ice blocks, but. Quest Warlock legitimately makes me not want to play this game as a whole. Like, just the deck existing is just enough to just make me not want to play anymore. There is legitimately nothing I could have done. I could have conceded the game at the start, and it would have been the same outcome, and it would not have taken 10 minutes. So frustrating, because I don't think any single turn I actually made a misplay, besides potentially the... Finley trying to get a rat. Maybe that was better, but okay. oh, well, whatever. Let's. To be fair, I probably just ended up pulling a giant out of his hand, anyways. So, legitimately didn't change anything. But yeah, let's just let's just keep the next one and hopefully, hopefully hit a deck that's a fun deck and not oh we're fucking in dumpster legend. Let's play the best deck in the game. All right, yeah, let's good up. All right. All right. Look, if I would have drawn this like two turns earlier, I had a potential at winning the game. Uh, yeah. yeah, hard mull everything here. It's too slow to be druids. I mean, this I guess could potentially do it, but I guess I keep this. Potentially, I eat something good, and, and he just never draws guff. Man. I'm so tired of hitting in the war. It's even been a while since I've hit Quest Warlock, but then just seeing that it is Quest Warlock is enough to just make me not want to put the game. It's it's insane how Wild Hearthstone at the moment feels like that. Where you'll just hit one matchup and you'll be like, yeah, I'm done playing for a while. And I, I feel like it has never been this bad, except for the fact that Pirate Rogue has been tier one for the last four years, I feel. Right? Is it three or four years? 2022? 20, yeah, 2020. No. The 2021? That might be two years. But the deck has just been tier one for the last two or three years consistently and every single time quest warlock is in the format guess what's tier one right it's it's really frustrating that there is no variety at all we get new sets whenever there's a semi-powerful card it gets nerfed to oblivion and nerfed beyond playability and then it's just kind of like yo what what the fuck? Like, what am I supposed to do if I don't want to just be playing the best cards in the game? Right? There is nothing I can do. And it just really sucks. It's super frustrating. It removes all the fun. And hey, what can you do? What can you do? I don't know if that was the best eat in his deck, but... You also have the naturalize. Go figure. Playing a 40 card deck. You drew both due process. Says naturalize. In the top. That was before the draw. So that was like all in the top fucking like 8 cards of his library. Yeah I just lose everything. It's I mean it is what it is. There's. Did I lose ETC? I don't know if my E, uh, this deck doesn't have an ETC in it. How do I put ETC in here? Yeah, I'm... I don't think there's actually a single world where I can win this game. What did he take? Yeah, you know what, I'm just... This is like the one card where I guess there's potential at actually doing something. It's actually this is like the main card. Hmm. 
This is really good. I kind of wish I hit two of these, but hey, it is what it is. This is gonna pull. He also had Ziliax in his hand. For the love of fuck. I guess I have to try to play for these, right? I mean, I have... I have them, right? I don't think it's going to be good enough because I don't think 48 damage is good enough when he has double Ziliax. But, hey. Yeah, I... I don't think there is winning this game at all. Again, Boom Boss was like the only card I could think of that potentially wins me the game. It just blows up so much of his deck. I need to draw exactly Boom Boss here. It's the only card I think that isn't out. Yeah, go figure. I burn every single actual playable card and I get given garbage. There must be a way. I'm drawing a million cards a turn, right? There, there's nothing I can realistically be done. It's exactly six. I just don't know if I even have enough time drawing five fucking six cards a turn. Again, Boom Boss is the only card I could think of that actually had potential if it just ate Jade Idol and then ate his other Zilliax and ate all of his cards, but I didn't draw it, so. Game is. doesn't matter anymore. Naturalized. Look, that's the third one he plays, no? I did not burn it. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this game. Legitimately, I have no will to actually continue playing Hearthstone at all. There's time for like one last game and... It's just not even fun, man. Just queuing into games where it's impossible to fucking win. I mean, one of them is turn six, take... 50 fucking damage. The other one is, oh yeah, there is no beating this because you decided to play a deck that didn't want to end the game on turn three, and then the other one's just like, yeah, no. Now you're playing too slowly, and it's like, bro. First of all, this deck never beats Quest Warlock and never would have beaten Garot Rogue. Ever. And yet, somehow, he hits the one person playing slow ass control warrior. Ugh. This game is so fucking frustrating. I'm. S oh, I hate this game sometimes. All right, let's just skip the next one. Okay, so now it's another matchup where we're just dead on turn like four to some infinite damage bullshit. Um. All right, let's see if we can actually survive. Surviving would be fun. You know what? I'm gonna say it. If we're allowing certain decks to be so far ahead of the meta, I think every single nerf should be reverted. Legitimately, every single card that has been nerfed in... the last two years, even longer than that, needs to be reverted. I'm talking about Lightning Bloom revert reverted to gaining two mana talking innervate reverted i'm talking uh tony reverted i'm talking like if you're gonna if we're gonna be in a format where quest warlock could be as oppressive as it is and you can't really have a slower deck fuck it revert everything revert astalor revert reno revert legitimately when i say revert everything I can't think of a single deck that becomes unplayable in if you did revert everything. Yeah, like, there's... I'm just dead next turn and there's nothing I can do about it. 
Do I even have three minion types? Elemental, pirate. What the fuck are you? Are you also a pirate? I actually do have three, so I can't actually explain that. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about, like, everything reverted. Let me go back to going turn one Neptalon. So this way your turn one quest is not good enough to win the game anymore. You know? Because I believe the only deck that was top tier when original Big Shaman was tier one. That's still a thing the fuck was the goal of that you don't even have a fucking weapon yeah i i think legit just revert everything if you revert everything all of a sudden i get to go back to reading posts about people bitching about Big Priest being too oppressive and unfun. Or Switcheroo Priest. But at least those decks were cool. And not... Bullshit. You know? At least those decks... To be fair, they did kill you on turn 3, but... You know what? I'd rather lose on turn 3 to Neptune on 100 games than lose on turn 3 to fucking Shadow Priest with double fucking... Uh, Void Touched Attendance. I'm dead next... In like, 2 turns. How many cards left in his deck? 15? Yeah, I'm... I am not living much past these next turns. Like, fuck, put this card back down to 6 mana. There's no reason for this card to be 7 mana. Legitimately makes the card unplayable. These cards are all awful. I'm just hoping to gain life. But yeah, you know? If that was the case, I would be a lot less angry. But I feel like every single time there's... Like, I'm talking about even going back to original... Like, let's put back original Open the Way Gate. Five spells that didn't start in your deck. Or was it five or six? I think it was five, right? The OG OG was five? Yeah, let's go back to that, you know? If... Everything else... Is fucked. I can. I guess no, this does survive at one. Right, if everything else in the format is Omega bullshit, let's have everything be Omega bullshit. Let's be able to continue going back to looping ice blocks and looping time warps and like go back to original, what is it? Uh, was it a bird? Turtle? Patrolin? Go back to original Patrolin. Let's go back to original everything. You know? Fuck it. Luna's Pocket Galaxy back down to five mana. Um, fuck it. You know, I personally, I think that would be better because this way you're not just like shoehorning these three decks that have already been at the top of the meta for so long and to be like, yeah, these are your playable decks. That's all you can play. And there is more to the format, right? Because all of a sudden you actually have like seven different decks in tier one and they're all equal as powerful. Now it kind of feels like there's two play styles in tier one where there's aggro, 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 quest warlock. That's all that's actually in tier one, right? And then everything else is like four tiers below it. It's it's annoying, you know? I don't like the fact that I can't actually play anything in the format because I'm can't beat certain decks. Speaking of not being able to beat certain decks, where the fuck is my Reno, man? Done, done, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, dead. It means one damage, or four, three damage to kill me here. There's this in it. That's a hip-hop. Mm, it's not hip-hop. Do one. Do one. Blood and plunder. Okay, well, at least here I get a resolved ham. Ooh, I think this is slightly better here. Oh, that's really good. As long as I survive here. Alright, well. 
But yeah, no. I mean, I generally feel like if we're gonna let the format be degenerate, let's let the format be degenerate. Give me back. Give me back everything, and then you know what? Leave. You could even put back old quest to what quest was. But you know, I'm fine with that. If you want to put back everything, and you're putting everything on even ground, you're putting back quest mage to what it was, you're putting back big shaman to what it was, you're putting back everything to what they are, put back quest warlock as well to what it was. I don't think there's a single card. Fuck it, you can even put patches back to give him charge, you know? But now you're at least being... Look, we don't want to nerf this. We won't nerf this. But we'll give everybody else a chance to play decks as well that are not just one of like the, the four broken decks right i think that is way more fine but okay. I, I would like that actually i think that would be dope revert every single nerf to wild unban everything and see where the format is at. I mean, even if I go back, can I search a band? No. Are there currently any banned cards in wild? I have no idea if there's any banned cards in wild. I know you got moved up to like a six drop, right? Let's just, I don't even remember his name. Is it a five drop or a four? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this guy. There was an old combo with him. Revert him, right? Before it was just you draw cards, they cost health instead of mana. Fuck it. You know what? Revert it. At this point, you can't hurt the format anymore by reverting everything. I don't think there's a single card that has been nerfed that would make the format warp to it i mean yes quest mage would be insane big shaman would be insane switcheroo priest would be insane such reason is it's three mana still right where is switcheroo we probably just search the name but i am very late i passed it did they raise the cost of wasn't it two before? Am I tripping or was switch through two mana? How much mana is switch a now? Okay. Five? It was two or three before. And he used to swap their stats. Like fuck it, put that back to what it was. You know? Let me let me be able to go back to playing. Fucking switcheroo priest. It would be at least cool to have it as like a month experiment. Where there every there is not a single card that is not like it released unless it got buffed. If it got factually buffed, right, you lower the cost. Same effects, same stats, you lower the cost. Leave that as it is. But just put everything back to prior to nurse. I'm including aggro cards in there. I don't like playing aggro. Put aggro cards back as well. See where the format is at. If the format is again back to just being two decks on top, revert it. And then nerf cards that are currently in your two play styles. I think that'll be fun. I think that would be cool. I think that's what should be done. Will it ever happen? No. Blizzard doesn't care about wild. To the point where I'm pretty sure Blizzard doesn't even care about Hearthstone anymore. I remember hearing there was rumors a couple weeks ago about like Hearthstone 2 coming out. Where, hey, if they do that, they better take better fucking care of the game. So, yeah. Anyways, Reno Warrior. Deck is fun. Deck is just really frustrating when you hit Quest Warlock. Because there is nothing you can do. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't have really anything else to see. To say, yeah, I can't English. So... I hope you guys all enjoyed. I feel like I ranted a lot in this video. Yeah, I definitely ranted a lot.
anyways with all that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you guys did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always follow me on twitch and twitter have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs all right guys yeah with that being said i will see y'all there peace